I think first of all, Pat, nobody knows right now, um, and that's a problem because uncertainty is not good for business. For us specifically, for Glanbia, about 3% of our uh, wholly owned revenue is in the UK, so it's, it's not a major factor directly like that. That's not to say we don't have joint ventures that will be affected, but really what we know right now is the volatility associated with Brexit because of uncertainty. That's a big issue for us. As we look globally, we've come from quite an insular world in Ireland uh, to being more global facing. I suppose one of our major concerns is that insularity that Brexit introduces to what is a big player in the global economy. Um, I think uh, there are ways of managing volatility, there are ways of managing the recent currency, currency shocks and we've got some really useful risk management tools within Glanbia that have helped not only our producers but our businesses as well. The question is more long term, what happens? Will the currency improve? What happens to jobs? And fundamentally what happens to the EU movement because we are a European headquarter business. Uh, Europe, Europe is in our DNA. The concern for us is the reaction within Europe to the UK and how this could possibly uh, resonate uh, in the future for the movement that has, has made a, a massive difference to people's lives. Don't forget that there's a bigger picture than our sector involved in this. The European movement has brought peace and freedom to places in the world that that's a relatively new concept. And that's a very important starting place when, when we'll dig a little bit deeper into the ag food world later on. Um, but it, it, for me personally, as a, obviously as an Irish person, uh, that's a worry. What happens to that movement?